Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start with your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental. Love your smile again. A federal judge signed an order that would put real water out of business for good. According to the order, real water would have to follow a long list of requirements if it wants to resume operation, including a sanitation plan and employee training. The Justice Department says real water has agreed to settle a federal lawsuit over illnesses linked to its product. The company's lawyers did not respond to requests for comment. And an update on the battle over masks at Sun City Summerlin, a master plan community for those 55 and older. The community's board of directors voted to end its policy that required residents to wear a mask or show proof of vaccination before entering its facilities. A Sun City Summerlin official said 300 people sent in comments about the policy before the board meeting. Let's continue with our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Governor Steve Sisolak confirmed he will run for re-election in 2022. During that announcement, he also spoke about a number of topics. Review Journal's Jen Ah gives us a full list. Jen? That's right, Renee. The governor says he's 110% sure he's going to run. During his briefing on Tuesday, he also touched upon a wide range of topics, including his intent to sign the bill that would establish a state government option for health care starting in 2026. He also talked about the death penalty and his proposed innovation zones. But the governor said he still believes in that concept. Uh, he added that his uh, the failure to for the legislature and the governor to agree and, and get a uh, death penalty ban passed had nothing whatsoever to do with the fact that he may potentially be running for re-election against Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo. In addition to that briefing, Governor Sisolak signed a bill into law yesterday that would strengthen Holocaust and genocide education in Nevada classrooms. Renee. Thank you, Jen. Well, Clark County is getting $440 million of federal money to help those hurt by the pandemic, including renters and small businesses. The big question is, though, how to spend it. The county commission discussed a wide range of needs as it gets ready to submit a plan to how to allocate the money from the American Rescue Plan. Chairwoman Marilyn Kirkpatrick called on the county to bring together other jurisdictions to get federal aid, saying this could be, quote, a recipe to change the course for so many. And Hofbräu House Las Vegas is back. The popular German bar hall and restaurant on Paradise Road opened its doors to a very happy crowd on Tuesday. Guests packed the place to capacity to sample the pretzels, the bratwurst, and of course the beer. Hofbräu House has been closed since March of last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Officials said it was the first time in its 17-year history that it was forced to close. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. We are in an excessive heat warning starting today through Friday, so take extra precaution if you're working outside today and drink plenty of water as we move through this heat warning. Today's highs will reach about 107 degrees lows in the low 70s for your evenings. For the rest of the week, hot temperatures and winds moving in by Friday. We will remain in the triple digits all weekend, but back in the 90s by next week. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Clark County is dipping into a reserve account again to make its bond payment for Allegiant Stadium. The county pulled over $11 million from the reserve account to help cover an $18.6 million payment. Those payments are normally covered by hotel room tax revenue, which has fallen during the pandemic. Uh, they have $10 million sitting uh, in a construction fund, um, kind of from the bonds that occurred from uh, interest. So they're going to put that into the next payment due in December, $16 million. So they're only going to need about $6 million from the room tax fund, which with things getting back to normal, they said that they sh should have no problem hitting. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, if you have several million dollars in your pocket, here's a home just for you. Take a look at this mansion at McDonald Highlands in Henderson. It's called the Jewel of the Desert, and it just hit the market for $18 million. The home is over 14,000 square feet, and it comes with a seven-car garage and a wine cave. I had said to the, to the architect, what are we going to do about this hideous 
mud pit that we've got going on in the back. And he's like, oh, a 20 foot retaining wall. And I was like, we can't do better than that. Like a 20 foot retaining wall. So um, Scott said, how about we create a bunker? And I said, okay, I'm listening, but what am I gonna do with this bunker? And he says, anything you want. I said, well, now we've got my interest. Hence the wine cave and no one has that. Now with the latest in sports, I'm Larry Andre Fox. UNLV's football game at Texas San Antonio will be broadcast or streamed on one of the ESPN networks on October 2nd at 3 p.m. Now there are only three Rebels games that have not announced a television broadcast or start time. And in the WNBA, Liz Cambage scored 28 points, but the Las Vegas Aces fell 75 to 67 to the Connecticut Sun. WNBA protocols barred Aces guard Kelsey Plum from playing after she competed for USA Basketball's three-on-three -three team in Austria. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are plus 160 road dogs at the Westgate in the team's second round playoff series against Colorado. The Avalanche are minus 180 on the money line and plus 140 on the minus one and a half puck line. The total is five and a half. Prop bets include will the Golden Knights Max Pacioretty score a goal and will the team that scores first win the game? Colorado's Nathan McKinnon and Miko Rantanen are the 12 to 1 co-favorites to score the first goal of the game. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, get ready for more absinthe at Caesars Palace. The raunchy circus farce is expanding its schedule. Review Journal columnist John Katzlamidis has the details. Absent, the unqualified hit at Caesars Palace is moving to a 16 show per week schedule on the 4th of July. This is a very brazen effort for a show that has been a box office hit since it opened in April of 2011. The schedule harkens to the days when production shows in Las Vegas often perform 15, 16 shows a week. David Copperfield still performs 21 shows per week over the holidays. And the reason for all this, says show producer Ross Mollison, is high demand. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have Amazon Fire, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.